It's a little film about my best mate and Milo. Yep. When you live out of the back of a truck as much as I live out of Milo, you get pretty close. Mind you, she always gets fixed up eventually. Milo wasn't built so much as she just sort of evolved to see what we were doing. It was travelling, and lots of it. You don't punch up reliable miles like this, though. Not without a lot of help. And in my case, that's come from the bikes down at Roo Systems the last few years. By crikey, they've had their job cut out for them. She's done some awesome stuff. Seen some incredible country. Did you get all that sand and mud and salt water and everything here, else going through the truck? You've really got to start looking out. We built the engine down at Terrain Tamer years ago. Balanced it up. Oh, magnificent job. Local mates helped me with a whole lot of the plumbing and fitting. They're always helping out. Oh, look at the lights, Tony. That's lovely, isn't it? I love this little truck. It does some amazing things. Goes places it never should go. Takes me to places that are just unbelievable. Poor old Wayne gets upset with me though down at Roo Systems, I can tell you. Especially after she's been inundated a few times or seen a bit too much water. Covered about 150 yards. We're so lucky to live in a country as big as Australia. I know they're trying hard to shut it down, and I think it's time to do something about it. I don't want future generations to miss out on the chances to see the places I've seen. It's all about loving your country, looking after it. A bit of cleaning up never hurt, even if it's someone else's mess. And that'll keep the tracks free. But we've got to convince our politicians, our parliamentarians, that this Just is our country. What a wonderful country we live in. But you need a four-wheel drive to see the best of its, don't you? Special thanks to the guys at Roo Systems. In the right hands, an old truck can go forever. Go, Milo, go!